<laughs> so you said um, there was a second attempted murder. What was the backstory for that? Well, that one was this. Some, what happened is someone passed a, um, a lie around that I'd done something to a uh, chased an, an older woman or something. Mm. And he passed that around to get an, a, a lad who was meant to be a bit handy at the time to get him involved, and it wasn't true. And I was selling ecstasy at the time, but mine probably wasn't as good as yours, but no. <laughs> I used to sell them at the time. It was only a few, and I, I had a, a bag of 100 E, and I went in to get rid of them because someone had passed a rumour around that they had um, heroin in because I had brown speckly dots mm. on them, and someone said they'd been mixed with heroin. And at the time, it wasn't a big thing where I come from, so no one would have them. So I walked into a club and didn't realise that they'd passed this rumour around. Mm. And there was a local lad who was pretty handy at the time. Um, I give the eight me mate, when he have a free night, there's under E for you. I chucked them to him and he's there with his pals and his long leather jacket, you know. And he went, uh, yeah, I want a word with you. I remember going to the side and I sat down with him. And I, he, he said what he'd said. And I went to explain myself. I thought, wait there a minute. I don't have to exp explain myself to him. And I sat back. And he, he's going on and on and on. And then I just remember looking to the side and thinking, he's just pulled me up here. The whole club was silent. Everyone knew I was getting a bit mad now and everyone was getting a bit fearful of me. And I just had this sense, if I don't do anything to him here, he's just pulled me up. If I walk away, it looks like he's pulled me up and I've backed down. I'm going to lose face. And I'll, Yeah, that's what I thought. So I made a choice there and then. I want to make an example of him so all these people in here know what's going to happen when you pull me up. And then as I'm thinking this in my head, he said the wrong thing. He come forward a bit on the, on the table and he just said, uh, you want to mess about with the big boys, do you? Mm -hmm. And something snapped in my head and I went into his face. Remember, I'm, a, I'm not a gangster, but I thought I was. I put my head in my face into his face and I said, no, 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 no. You just messed about with, you know, come outside. I said, I'm going to kill you. So I walked outside the club and it was on some steps. It's called the Royal Arms area in Pete Lee. And he didn't come out, so I thought, oh, he's flapped it, he's back down. And uh, I went to the top of the stairs, and there was loads of people in front of him. They were saying, do not go out there, he means what he says. And they were trying, he's like, no, when you've had a drink, move out the way, and yeah, stuff like that. that. And uh, anyway, I heard one of them shout, leave him. He's been warned. Leave him, let him go. And uh, they all stepped out the way. He come out. I, I went to the top of the stairs with a knife, like, you know, my fam fam famous pack. And I just basically <laughs> pulled out the nine-inch kitchen blade and I waited for the door to open. And as he come out, I turned around and just stuck the knife straight through his body. Oh, my God. And I pulled it in out. The chest, in the heart? Around about there. Oh. I pulled it out. And when I pulled it when I pulled it out, it made like a, oh. like a sound like that. No sound going in. So I'm guessing it must be oh. like the, the, the wind, the air sucking in. Yeah. Oh. So when I pulled out, it... And then he just... What was weird about what I can see is when I did it and pulled it out, I looked. I actually thought I'd missed because there was no blood. Then all of a sudden, he just dropped. And then it was just like, like just so fast as if there was a tap. It was that deep cut. I've, I've seen him before. Where I've seen a guy get slashed. And you actually open up for a bit and there's no blood at all. You it think, was weird. Is that yeah. weird? And next minute, it's, and then it just it's so deep. And that's what's happened. And he basically, that it was just like a tap I was on, and it was just it went from having nothing to literally it was just like a tap. Then two lads jumped off this step, and they both pulled out knives, and it was like a standoff. So I'm in the middle, and when I'm going for him, he's trying to get me. And then when I'm going for him, so what I did is I thought to myself, see how calm I am in this in this situation. Everyone to be panicking, and I just thought to myself, wait there a minute, he's coming at me, but he was forward, so he's. He's like jabbing at me. Yeah. And he's 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 forward and I thought to myself, I can get him in the temple. I thought if I pretend to go for him, then I can just swing and get him. And so I went to pretend to get him, and as he come in, I just turned and just swung and he just got his head back. And I just missed him and he went, Whoa. He said he means business him, are we? And they both walked off. Did you think about throwing the nerves at him? I didn't know. I didn't. Well, if I'd have been in trouble if I threw it, and then they both stood with one. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> so I'd have been a bit. Like in pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'd have been in tr trouble a little bit. But yeah, just sort of. Uh, and now I'm on the run. Um, see, because the first one, what happened is there was not much evidence on it, so they had to bail me for further investigation. Mm -hmm. 
So they bailed me on a further investigation, which shocked me. But uh, sometimes I think the police just want you to get lifed off, and they know you're going to. So like, yeah, get him out again. Go on, he's going to do something. And that might be my paranoia. What was your bail on the first one? Uh, the bail was attempted murder. I mean, how much do you have to pay to get out of the bail? Oh, you don't. You don't. Not in this country. Just let you out. Oh, yeah. it's murder. Yeah. No, it, it's due to lack of evidence. So what's it is, there was no evidence at the time. There wasn't much evidence. Right. They got to build up for the crown court, right? Yeah, and, and, they're hoping you, and they're hoping you'll do something else. To make well, that that's case what I'm, I'm yeah. guessing. But uh, yeah. what happened was is so then I'm on, I'm I'm bailed on that one, and while I'm on bail for that one, this happened, and now they're after now they're like blocking estates off and raiding people's houses who I don't even know. And then the people who I do know, they were they went to a different area come in with the uh, not guns like dogs and the riot gear and all that went straight to the pictures of me smashed the pictures out and took the photos like it's illegal really I think that you take that's someone else's house you can't go and take the property without any but they were just going in people's houses smashing their getting the pictures out and taking the pictures with them they're making themselves a nuisance because they were thinking oh these are going to get fed up if he's looking for them one of them is going to dob him in you know yeah. what I mean were torturing like yeah. just all over people. Do you know what I mean? To get me and and they even had like um, photographs. What they were given to every all shops around all local areas. And the reason why I knew this is I walked in the shop one day. And you know when you just see that the the, the shop woman just like as if she knew who I was. She was just like and like just act. And I just thought nah. And I ran. And I went out and I ran. And they were telling people like no, if you see this person you know, ring instantly and stuff. And within like five, ten minutes, the whole area was just absolutely covered. You so I couldn't go out anywhere. I couldn't do out. You see the notice board with like people selling fridges and that and a big wanted picture with you. <laughs> you know, what's going on here? <laughs>